Hi everyone, it's Dr. Zach Morris from Dickinson County Board of Health and Lakes Regional Healthcare in Spirit Lake, Iowa. Uh, it is the 10th of August. I'm going to take my mask off because there's only two of us in here and we're socially distanced. Um, so I just wanted to give a little bit of a COVID update. It has been a couple weeks since I last chatted with you and um, thankfully things have been fairly quiet around here. Uh, we continue to have folks in the hospital pretty continuously with, with COVID, but we are managing them. Um, there have been uh, two more deaths in the county, unfortunately. Uh, so there are now six COVID-related deaths um, from our small community. So uh, it's not going anywhere. It, it, we are still seeing significant illness and significant um, deaths. Any death is significant. But um, our overall numbers right now are actually looking fairly good. Um, there's about 20 active cases in the county from what we know. Um, the total number of cases that have uh, been positive in Dickinson County thus far uh, is 381. Um, so the rate of rise has slowed down, but it is pretty consistent here. Um, there's some thought that that might be an undercount because people aren't necessarily getting tested, but I think that we did not, thankfully, see a huge spike after 4th of July like we did after Memorial Day. And so we're really uh, pleased and feel blessed about that. Um, just wanted to give you an update on sort of the, where we stand, what's being recommended, um, and what we're doing here at the hospital. So um, Iowa is about to reach 50,000 cases. Um, it's 49,000 plus right now uh, that have been confirmed positive in Iowa. Um, for a state that's as small as ours, that is still a large number. Um, so there are larger and some of the more rural areas in the state that have continued to see outbreaks, um, but it's just a bit slower than it has been. Um, but as you're seeing, um, as some of the rust, or sorry, as some of the Sun Belt states um, have leveled off their their rises, there's a lot of spread within smaller communities in the Midwest. Um, some of that has to do with overall public health policies. Some of that has to do with just um, where it's spreading. Um, but thus far, Iowa has been fairly uh, lucky. That said, there's been um, uh, quite a few deaths in Iowa, and um, we don't want to minimize that. Um, ICUs are still in use. Um, thankfully, we still do have the capacity to take care of folks here and in Sioux Falls. So if you think you're sick, don't hesitate to get taken care of. Also, we are open for business for everything else. So we have done a good job here of um, having everyone who comes into our building wear a mask, um, everyone over the age of two, that is. Um, and so I feel safer here at work than I would were I to go out to a restaurant or, or bar, which still generally not doing other than maybe outside uh, distance from folks <laughs> with a mask on until I eat. Um, so we are open for business. We want kids to get back in for their school physicals. We want uh, uh, patients who are overdue for their um, diabetes checks, their blood pressure checks, their labs to come in. We have the setup. Still, we are offering virtual visits through telemedicine. Um, so if you got a smartphone, we can see you that way as well, but still not as perfect. We can get you at your labs beforehand, but please do call 336-3750 uh, and schedule your appointment with your primary uh, care provider. Also, in the last couple of weeks, Dr. Foos has started with us, so now we have a new member of our team um, who replaces Dr. Gorse, who um, has retired after a long, illustrious career here. So um, we're sad to see Dr. Uh, Gorse um, head on to greener pastures. However, uh, we're happy to have Dr. Foos here. Um, so he can also uh, see new folks and, and many of us have availability. So please don't hesitate to call uh, for routine care and if you're feeling ill. Um, the big talk right now is about schools. Um, everyone is uh, in a bit of a tizzy as to um, will they open, won't they open. Uh, it's pretty clear that the local schools uh, are going to be opening in person unless something changes dr drastically in the next couple weeks. Um, the Board of Health, the Public Health Department, um, and the hospital have all been in close contact with all of our local uh, districts, and we're doing our best to encourage them to uh, take the steps that will help reduce the burden of illness and keep them open. So um, Board of Health, the hospital, Iowa Academy of Family Physicians, the uh, Iowa Academy of, uh, or Association of Pediatrics, um, Iowa Medical Society, all are in favor of universal masking. Um, both of students and teachers in schools, as well as um, really in most indoor settings. Um, 
but you know that's on the individual districts to figure out what their best plan is going forward um, and so we're trying to help them make those uh, tough decisions right now um, so because everyone wants our kids to be safe um, and wants our school year to be successful um, so a couple resources that the hospital is providing um, really we're doing um, the public health department is the local contact for the schools if and when there are outbreaks and so they're going to be closely working together with the school systems uh, around our, our county. Additionally, uh, we have committed to keeping the Test Iowa site here in town um, for the foreseeable future. It's going to be at the ice rink um, in its current hours, which are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then mornings on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, at least through the end of August. Um, and then we are looking at how to continue it, whether it's at that site or at a different site on, on campus or even perhaps um, somewhere in Milford, something like that in the coming weeks as we go forward. But because so much of um, the symptoms of COVID mimic other things, we want free and accessible testing. So the Test Iowa site is going to be key for doing that. So the best practices looking at the, the recommendations is if a kid or if a teacher is feeling any signs of, of illness that could be COVID, um, they are recommended to get tested. Um, and if they have no known exposure um, to someone who has it, then if their test is negative, they can return to work or school uh, quickly. If they don't get tested, then they're supposed to quarantine for 10 days um, until uh, they're um, supposedly not infectious. Um, you know, these are all on the, um, these are all policies that are being recommended by Iowa Department of Health. The actual policies of return to school, et cetera, are on the individual districts. Um, but we're hopeful that you know we don't have kids who are at the districts or at the schools who are ill and spread it to their classmates so that they don't spread it to their uh, parents, grandparents, others who might be uh, more susceptible to getting severely ill. So we wanna keep our kids in school. We wanna keep um, the doors open. We want uh, sports and, and, um, and music and such to continue as long as it can be safe. You know, we want what you want, uh, so we're just trying to be as supportive as, uh, as we can uh, as resources. Um, so really, not a lot has changed in the last few weeks other than that we're just getting closer to school and we're getting a better sense of what that's going to look like. And uh, once we uh, do reopen, I think we'll learn a lot quickly. Um, and I think we just need everyone to be flexible and understanding that uh, not everyone has all the answers, uh, but we're doing our darndest to um, work together. So um, we will get through this. Hopefully it's a successful school year. Hopefully uh, with the available testing uh, we're able to get people back to school or back to work quickly. So remember uh, you can just go to testiowa.com and fill out the, uh, the screening tools and then choose uh, other sites. Choose Dickinson County and you can bring your QR code over to the testing site. Also if you're feeling ill at all, um, if you have symptoms, uh, then we can still see you in our respiratory clinic, so 336-6696. Uh, um, in the coming weeks, we will also be opening the new facility for Lakes Regional Family Medicine, finally, which we are so excited about. So as that opens, you will be seeing far more from the hospital about um, how to access us, where to go, etc. It's going to be beautiful. We're so excited to be in our new space that's um, purpose-built for how we practice medicine now. Um, and that will also have some impact on, on where we're seeing folks for the respiratory clinic, et cetera. So um, lots to come, lots exciting. Um, so overall, you know, good news right now. Uh, our cases are, are low, but we're still seeing it. Um, so hopefully we can continue that momentum um, and um, have a successful, uh, healthy opening to school. So um, we may touch base again before school starts um, or sometime around then, but. Hope you all have a wonderful, uh, healthy, uh, calm, enjoyable rest of your summer, and um, be well, take care of each other, and uh, uh, stay safe. Thanks.